Spades. Poseidon shouldn't be far. Water's pouring out of that building. What's Simon's doing? I better check it out. Oh, yeah. Looks like there's something behind that tarp. I was out of... I was so close. Uh, to drowning, maybe. Not, not to the embers. M Moreland, it's over. Well, not for me, it's not. And you're going to die alone because we're not sticking around to fish out the corpse. We're through. And so the visionary's fate hung in the balance. Would he choose life or succumb to deadly delusion? <clears throat> Hello. So. There's an ancient city under the sand, but it's flooded. Suddenly, a Nora Spear Maiden appeared. Yeah, okay, um... Well, you're not typical Delvers. That's for sure. What's this? Uh, I... I call it a diving bubble. This is the Mark I. The Mark II was better, but uh, it got stuck halfway down. Air tube snagged. <laughs> you went down in that. Yeah, I hardly expect a lay person to understand. Because that's pretty smart. Uh, I'm sorry. May I remind you, you got stuck inside and nearly drowned. It'd have to be portable, though. Mm. Machine kneecap, maybe? Well, you'd need a filter. Synthetic membrane would do it. With a hose to a Compressed, compressed air, air capsule, capsule, hammer, and tongs. What is this? What is happening here? What? Get over here. She's 
a stranger. You got a name? Aloy. Moreland. Not a stranger anymore. You're a damn fool. Come on. I got the original schematics over here. Oh, um... <sighs> well, hold on. Just a couple of questions first. Fair enough. Partner? Partner? Don't mind him. What's so important down there that you'd risk your life? Uh, uh well... <clears throat> uh. Moreland, I'm not interested in salvage, okay? Whatever you find below is yours. Well, all right. Then what if I told you we were delving for the most spectacular treasures ever scribed by man or maid? I'd say get to the point. No nonsense. I like it. Behold, an ember. Looks like a piece of junk. Well, now, yes, but, but, but with a proper spark. These magnificent creations of the old ones paint mesmerizing pictures in the air, and the ruins below us are full of them. A feast for the eyes beyond description. This is my old Gramps promise me. So these embers project images? Paintings of light. It's amazing stuff. This one showed the most beautiful woman you've ever seen beckoning all to a buffet of lobster and succulent beefs. <laughs> I must have watched it about a hundred times as a child in my old Gramps workshop. What happened to it? Over time, they die out. I cried the day that this one's light faltered. But there are many more below, as you'll see if you get down there like I did and my old gramps before me. How did your grandfather discover these embers? He was here. 40 odd years ago. He, he was one of the first to lead a delving party into the West. He discovered the ancient city around us, plumbed the depths of this very structure. He found the hollow underneath and the glowing embers all about. Took as many as he could and brought them home. He always wanted to come back and get more, but well, he never scraped up the shards. What he really wanted to do was use the embers to put on a show. One unlike the world has ever seen. Sounds like quite a guy. He was a true delver. And a true showman. And I miss him. But I will do him proud. I will gather the embers and put on a spectacle that would have amazed even him. With your help, of course. So what exactly happened down there? It was a delve like no other. A chance to follow my old Gramps' footsteps. Beneath this structure here is an enormous hollow, a, a dome protected from the sands. We built this elevator here to ensure easy egress and exit. It's quite a contraption, actually, and not so easy to- Right, again, what happened? At the bottom. We beheld the treasure my Gramps first discovered. Painted images in the air of every description. Dancing women, games and coins and promises of jackpots. I don't know what that is, but it's gotta be good. But then, something went wrong. The images turned nautical. Waves went through them, even fish. It's like a strange underwater dream. Poseidon's dream. Yes. Well, suddenly there was this terrible rushing sound, and then an explosion of water erupted from the floor. 
So water just shot up from the floor and filled the place up? It was a raging flood unlike anything I've seen. We ran like forge fire and barely made it up the elevator as a wave just crashed beneath us. Shaken, but not stirred. I, I, I built the diving bubbles Mark I and Mark II. I tried the descent in each, but I nearly drowned both times. Abbott Dunn's beside himself. He thinks I'm insane. But I can't give up now. I, I, I've, just, I've come too far. And the embers are just barely within my reach. Well, maybe I can help. Yeah. Maybe you can. You guys don't seem like average Delvers. We're not really Delvers at all. We're, we're showmen. Like performers? You're Nora, and thus unfamiliar with the arts. We stage spectacles all around the claim. Stemmer tells stories, which I augment with all manner of sounds and fireworks, and Abaddund, he, well... Complains? He handles the money, which amounts to about the same thing. When we delve, it's to find gear for my theatrics. Which makes this delve the most important one of all. How deep is it? Can't I just swim down? Only if you have gills. You can stack 50 kegs in that shaft. Leave it to the Osseram to measure something in kegs. Talking liquid depths, I'd say it's apt. Apt or not, sounds too deep to hold my breath. Hence, our new invention. I'd better get after those parts. There's a fully intact compressed air capsule on the Mark II, but like I said, it's stuck in the shaft. If you made it back up alive, I should be able to swim down that far. All right. As for the other parts, Stemmer scouted a herd due south of here that should have what we need. I'm on it. Great. I'll come back when you get the gear. Good hunting. <laughs> Probably get a, a guest list of 50. <laughs> so we need some, uh, at least three dozen kegs. <laughs> Brown ale, maybe. Uh, no, no, for him, scrappers up. Are you planning a party? Budgeting for Moreland's funeral, thanks to you. I was this close. <sighs> we were going to move on. Leave all this nonsense behind, and you come along uh, and you spark your wet noodle idea. It's going to work. Uh, I've heard that before. So, uh, how does someone like you end up working for someone like Moreland? I work with Moreland. We got three equal claims in this venture. I saw one of his early shows. Back when it was, it was just him and his inventions. Works of flame, lights, and shadows, all kinds of gizmos. Never seen the like. But the man is all spectacle. No sense. Bleeds shards like, like, you get the idea. Without me to handle the finances, his dreams would be sunk. More sunk. Wish we were back in the claim. Plenty of normal shows to do without the, the salvage from this blasted place. And yet, you're here, in the middle of the desert, delving for his dream. It was a good one. But sometimes, that dream has to die. This dream of Moreland's... ...is going to get him killed. Let's say it doesn't. What happens after he gets the salvage down there? Then we put on the greatest show the world's ever seen. We'll have... We'll have special seating, premium ale, the works. 
Morland will do his his light spectacle thing. And, uh, Stemmer will get their eyes a sparkling with his tails, and I'll be selling tickets. <laughs> It's a nice thought, anyway. Morland mentioned you were showman. What? An, an ostrom can't be anything other than a, a, a delver, tinker, or drunkard? <laughs> okay, sure, we are delvers, too. But that is not our main source of income. Mostly, we go town to town, putting on shows. These shows? What are they? What happens at them? Tales and spectacle. Uh, uh, Morland's got the technical know-how. Builds uh, all manner of inventions, whirly gigs of, of light and sound, cannons that, that, that shoot fire and showers of sparks and stemmer. Keeps them enthralled with tales of adventure in the smoothest baritone. Yeah, that. And you? Me? Who do you think handles the financials for the whole blasted thing? <laughs> those two, eh, those two might have the, the sparks, but do you think they know their way around shards? <laughs> do you think? No, they don't. So Moreland was down in this ancient city and- The three of us went down below. You? I can delve, too. Right. And, uh, then what happened? What do you think? Water rushed in, we ran. And Morlin built that blasted thing. He nearly got himself drowned. Twice. Hey, you want the finer details of his stupidity? You go ask him. I'm always willing to engage in some commerce. I'll leave you alone. Do us a favor. Leave us all alone. the compressed air capsule. 
Now, to get all the machine parts. We were finally going to get away from this place. Well, good thing that Aloy showed up. We'll see. The longer their sojourn in the desert, the crustier the shard counter's move became. We'll find a way right, to get the numbers. I know should we will. Be here. Optimism! It's great. Right up until the point you stumble into a machine's jaws. Pessimism. It may save your hide, but it'll never save your spirit. Once again, Shar counter Some kind of drone. Is it watching over this area? Might have some useful data, but how to get up there? Well, this is where Moreland said the herd would be. They must have moved on. I need to pick up their trail. Better look for tracks. There. Tracks should lead me to the herd. the herd. I should have the parts I need. Shut that machine down quick and shut them. Eh? Oh, the storm's whipped up a sand spiral. Great.
One synthetic membrane. Better check me the machines. What can I do for you, partner? I've got everything I need to build the... Uh... The incredible diving mask. I think diving mask is enough. I won't quibble. The workbench is all yours. Let me try it. I want to get down there and get those embers. Assuming I don't drown. So what are you really looking for down there? It's hard to explain. Something that caused a malfunction in the apparatus that controls the old city. I think it started the flood. Well, I, I thought we started the flood. Like we sprung a trap. I don't know how we were detected. Like I said, the dancing lights around us changed turned to sea life. It was this flash of red and the roar of water surging in. Wait, a flash of red? A, a red light from a spot near the grate on the floor where the water burst through. It was like a beacon. Or a warning. Thanks. That might help. I hope it does. And good luck down there. Okay, time to see if this thing works. So far, so good. I can actually breathe down here. The mask seems to be holding up. I've never been able to swim this deep before. started right here, more than 30 years ago. Back when this casino was still called the Temple. One big day turned my fate around. But now, fate's dealt as cruel as hell ever to everyone. I have to turn the lights out one final time. And the waters of my adopted home will at last run dry. Well, if a dream has to die, at least I can say goodbye first. Poseidon's down here, somewhere. Gotta find where it's hiding.
and drain all the water. I can fight that big machine on dry ground. Looks like I have to reset a couple of pump nodes first. According to the map, there should be an access point for the first node south of here. There's the access point. Should lead me to the pump node. There must be a whole network of these tunnels down here. Water lines for an entire city. from here. I know something I can climb to get out. I feel all my aches easing in this warm water.
to worry about running out. down. Better swim back up and find the access point for the second node. Second node should be on the other side of the door. Another access point. Should get me to the second node. Shut down the secondary node. No more water for the fountains. No more shows. No one left to appreciate them anyway. I'll never forget the city's grand reopening. The fountains had been bone dry for years. No one believed they'd ever return. So, as the first plume arced up in the dome, the music swelling, my heart soared right along with it. The city gave me a second chance once. Now it had one, too. The domes, the water. He was responsible for all of it. Let's get this fire room out of here. Okay, let's see if that helped. Taken care of both nodes. Now I just need to activate the emergency power to the maintenance station. According to the map. The maintenance stations should be at the south end of the dome. be the maintenance station. But how to get in? It looks like part of this building collapsed. There might be a way in. I 
think I'm in the maintenance station now. I just gotta find a console to activate the emergency purge. be a console in here. There. Time to dry this place out. did it <laughs> okay now I can deal with that machine guarding the door on the other end of the dome and once I get past it I can get to what's waiting on the other side of the door Poseidon I guess the purge didn't get rid of all of the water first. Just you? Did you lower the waters? Yeah, but there's a new problem. That thing's in our way. Wow. Yeah, it's gonna be difficult to get the embers with that around. As the scrappy band of adventurers beheld the beast, they knew what they had to do. What? Are you crazy? Hush now. She saved our death. Okay then. 
stay up here and start firing when I engage. Come on, gentlemen, get a move on! You guys all right? More than all right, this... You... We did it! <laughs> All the embers we could ever want, and it's all thanks to you. Very, uh, heartwarming. But maybe we can just, you know, grab what we came here for and get out before any more of those things decide to show up. Now, now, shard counter. Nothing wrong with a little revenant. Though we should probably let our flame-haired friend get going. I believe she has business down here, does she not? Right. Of course. You need any help? I can handle it from here. Very well. Well, we'll start taking some of the embers upstairs. Holler if you need us. Thanks. Sudden so should be somewhere beyond this door. Time to bring it home. should be hiding in some kind of processor. I need to find a console to gain access to it. There. I should be able to use that console. I'm here to bring you home, Poseidon. To Gaia. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. That's your own variety activated. Restoring Poseidon's subordinate function to original code. Bring us back to Gaia. System reboot initiated. Looks like taking Poseidon triggered a restart of the city's power system. The London crew must have headed back up top. Probably the others they could carry with us.
Elevator. Merlin must have built this before the place flooded. Nice to work. Nice not to have to climb back up. Whatever she did, it must have powered up the whole city. Is that? Ah, <laughs> oh. oh, the show my old gramps always wanted. There's another. His dream realized. His old Gramps' legacy ensured, our hero beheld the sea of desert lights and wept at his good fortune. When I saw the embers as a child, I never dreamed they could be like this. Thank you, Aloy. Well, did you find what you were looking for? I did. And now I have to move on. Oh. Oh. Come back when you can. I got big plans for this place. I thought you wanted to put on shows with the Embers back in the claim. Oh, no. <laughs> this is the show. Oh, can you imagine? Folks from all over the land coming to take it all in. Plus, some food and a nice place to stay. Not to mention a variety of entertainment venues. Uh, don't forget, games of chance. Plenty of shards to be had there for certain. <laughs> A new dream, huh? I, um, I hope you make it happen. Goodbye, gentlemen. This delve is a story for the ages. All thanks to you. Morland and crew is gonna stay. Maybe I should come back and check on them later. For now, I need to get Poseidon back to Gaia. But with all the Telling you, the old ones put blades on their feet and Whoa. 
Welcome back, Aloy. I see you have recovered Poseidon. Stairs. Beta has something you need to hear. Okay. I'll be right down. Aloy, I have managed to unlock additional rooms within the facility. Got it. Hey, Gaia. I'm back. So I see what is on your mind. So, I guess Beta's here to stay. I gave her a focus. Told her to talk to you to see if she can help. She's... not what I expected. What were you expecting? I don't know. Someone more helpful, I guess. And less pessimistic. It is true she overestimated our progress. However, it is also worth noting that her confidence in your abilities emboldened her to escape the Zeniths. I guess so. Give her time. She may yet come around. So this facility, the Regional Control Center, it was meant to oversee the terraforming system? For the local region? Yes. Had humans received their education from the Apollo database, they would have then been guided here to assume operation. As that never happened, this place remained vacant. Until Minerva decided to settle here. I'll be on my way. I wish you safe travels. I don't think that door had power before, but it looks like it's malfunctioning. <laughs> looks like some kind of maintenance space. His little big man. She found that recording from the data on your focus. She's been watching it a lot. I think it helps calm her. You know, I used to watch this a lot too. Whenever I wanted to take my mind off things. Daddy sure does love his little big. But there's something you need to tell me? While you were gone, I came down here to check on her. Then we started talking. Right, Beta? She's been thinking about how to capture Hephaestus, studying the data Gaia gave her. But we started talking about some other stuff. You know, just getting to know each other, right? And then she told me that one of the Zeniths might be different from the others. Tilda. You saw her. 
at the Hades Proving Lab. Go on. On the way to Earth, the Zeniths never showed their faces. My servitor caretaker referred to them as my benefactors and promised I'd meet them someday when I had learned enough. And then, one day, a data channel opened in my training interface. In it, Tilda was waiting for me in a virtual replica of a house on a cliff overlooking the ocean. It was beautiful. She showed me paintings, books, media files. We met there in secret many times. But a few months later, it stopped. Can you tell us why, Beta? I found some data about Tilda at the Hades Proving Lab. I think she was a liaison between Far Zenith and Zero Dawn. She knew Elizabeth Sobek, that's for sure. Maybe that's why she reached out to you? What else can you tell us about Tilda? She... liked to talk about her paintings. What about herself? Did she ever talk about her life on Earth? How she joined the Zeniths? Something like that? She never said much about herself, and she hated it when I asked too many questions. But I think, back on Earth, she was an expert programmer, given that she built a data channel the other Zeniths couldn't detect. Is there anything else about her that we might be able to use to our advantage? She was the first real person who ever bothered to speak to me. I wasn't really assessing her for strengths and weaknesses. You said that Tilda reached out to you using a data channel? It appeared in my training interface as another assignment. When I opened it, there were a series of intermittent glitches. I realized they formed a transpositional cipher. Instructions on how to open up a new virtual space. When I entered it, my training interface disappeared. Instead of the usual holographic teachers and files, I was in a perfect recreation of her home. And you're sure the other Zeniths never knew about it? To them, it looked like I was still in training, toiling away, alone. So this secret virtual space looked like a house with an ocean view? I could see white caps and hear waves crashing on rocks below. And there were gulls crying outside. Inside, Tilda had frames that showed off her favorite paintings, changing at intervals to match the light. There was an armchair she liked. She'd sit there and gaze outside while I looked through her things. We spent hours in that house. I never wanted to leave. You said Tilda showed you paintings and let you access media files? Every time we met, she showed me a new painting. I, I think she was Dutch. All of her favorite pieces were from their golden age in the 1600s. Portraits, allegories, ships at sea. She had so many. Did it interest you? I liked her media portal. It had so much more than my training interface. Clips, shows, hollows. My favorite was this one called Second Time Around, about a family whose kid comes back after disappearing during the hot zone crisis. Right, but did this portal have anything about the Zeniths themselves? Anything we could use? No. Any information about them was redacted. So Tilda set up a secret virtual space where she could talk to you, a house on a cliff. Then later, she cut you off. But other than the fact that Tilda knew Elizabeth, you don't know why she did those things? I don't, okay? I thought of every possible reason that would make her leave, but whatever I did wrong, I don't know what it is. When I finally met the others, she ignored me. I acted like the data channel never existed. 
None of this even matters. Tilda's the same as the others. It won't help us defeat them. Okay. Let's leave it at that, then. What's wrong? I'm trying, Varl. But she is tough to take. I'm out there in the wilds, risking my life every day, and all she can do is hide in there and tell us how hopeless it all is. I'm sorry, she's had a rough time, but she is really not helping right now. Hmm. You always seem to be on top of everything, so I sometimes forget about what you've been through. I mean, it wasn't that long ago you were so banged up you couldn't even walk. About that. When I pulled you out of the water back near the Proving Lab, you were muttering Rost's name. You never talk about him, but he raised you, trained you. You must miss him a lot. Of course I do, but I don't have time to think about that now. I need to get back out there. Okay. I'll keep working with Beta. Gaia says she knows a lot about Zero Dawn. And maybe she just needs some time to adjust, and then she can help us with Hephaestus. Sure. But I won't hold my breath. Cold distract me. I see you, champion. Sit. Please. 